Just let you soak up that view, guys. Wild Mangas here on my weekend adventures. Taking you with me. I know some of you can't get out and explore, so I'll do it for you. I'm quite high up here. Hello. Now that's a fair way down, guys. That river down there is actually the River Journey to Staffordshire. Just thought I'd bring you on this little journey. I'm out today looking for different old history, ancient history, buried history, and as many caves as I can find. It's good to know where these little caves are, because if worse comes to the worst, they'd make a nice little home. As you can see it. Sorry about the quick zoom, guys. That's actually a horse hoof fungus. A hoof fungus, not edible. But when you see them on trees, they usually grow on dead wood. That's actually a hoof fungus. I'll learn you the different mushrooms and funguses on the way. Sorry about the quick zoom there, guys. We've actually got some more here. I've done this one before. This is actually the jelly ear fungus, or the wood ear. It grows on old elm trees, old alder trees. It's actually edible, they use that in Chinese cooking, they use it for Chinese soups. Quite rubbery, as you can see. These are lovely specimens, these are, sorry about that guys. See that? As you can see, it looks like an ear. But the Chinese love to cook with them, they put them in stir fries and salads. Let me take a little venture down here and I'll go a little bit further along this cliff edge. Oh guys, a bit ropey. Let's see what we can find eh guys. I'll tell you what, it took me a fair track going up here. That's a sheer drop that. I don't want to be rolling down there. Wild man rolling. Here, what's that? Oh, found another little interesting fungus here, guys. This is quite a pretty one. This is actually called the Alf Cup. You see that? This grows on dead, rotting elm. As you can see, the insects have had a little chew at this one. It's edible to them. Somebody told me that this was edible, but I wouldn't recommend it. It hasn't got much nutritional value. It's just quite pretty to look at. It's actually February the 10th. Quite a colourful little mushroom, but we call these the elf cap in Staffordshire. I don't know what the technical name is for them. But yeah, but that's where I'm heading there. Let's go see what we can find in it, guys. I've been lugging some serious kit with me today. I've got my fishing gear with me, just in case I find any pools. I've got the river down here. But we've had all that snow, so it's a bit flooded. Guys, look at this. Look how high this is. That's some serious rock. Whoa, that's vertical, that is, guys. Nice vertical drop. As you can see, it looks like it's formed in layers, like it's been put on top of one another. See that there? It's like two pieces of rock. Strange, isn't it? That hasn't formed like that, guys. I see some more down here, but I'll investigate it in a bit. But let's go see what we can find in here. This looks like it could be a wild man new home. I hope you're enjoying coming on these little journeys with me guys, I'm enjoying doing them. I've always done them, I've just never videoed them. This is all my kit guys, I've got my fishing rod, my flask, my net, camera tripod, spare camera, worms, bread. But most of all I've got my flask of coffee. Oh god this is slippy. What have we got round here guys? 
Not much in there. Make a nice little sleeping quarter though because it's dry. You'd be able to stay dry under there in an emergency. And as you can see, I'm extremely high. <laughs> and there's only one way in and one way out of this little cave. And that's how you like it. Right, let's investigate guys. As you can see, it's all dry under here. So the rain obviously doesn't get to it. I reckon you could be quite comfortable in here if you made it right. Luckily I've got my torch. I don't know how you do the beam on there. Do we're making the beam a bit better. Guys, are you seeing there? I'm gonna have to investigate. This is quite uh, it don't go very deep and it's quite a narrow cave. There's a hole down there. I'll take you in with me. Guys, this is really narrow. I reckon with a good dig out that'd go down further, you know. There's not much hidden history here. But this would make a wicked little hide out. As you can see, that goes up quite high that. Oh, that boulder lung don't look too safe though. And I've knocked that out. Any bats living in here guys? Can't see any. I like to see the odd bat now and then but I usually just find big spiders. I have found bat caves in the past. If you check the old videos, there is uh, there is one on there where I do actually video a bat, a pipistrel. Oh, some big old spider's eggs. Water dripping down from here. Oh, guys. So, yeah. This is pretty awesome in here, guys, I'll be honest with you. Masses of spider's eggs. So yeah, this is another awesome little cave. So this is wild man turning caveman. And like I say, I'm just taking you on my little journeys with me as I go along. I'm trying to find the truth. I'm trying to find places to hide. If ever there's any conflict in the country, you've got to find these little places because nobody will find you. You can forage, you can live wild, you can live free, and you can stay out of vision and see what's coming. You'll be quite safe in here, guys, I'm telling you. And this is another one on my wild man list, just in case anything goes wrong. I'm documenting these little areas. Let's have a look around here, guys. I hope I don't slip on my backside. What have we got down here? Let's have a look at this rock and see how this rock's formed. Now I'm looking for sea creatures because they reckon these rocks were formed through sedimentary. But I haven't seen any any fossilised sea creatures or shells or anything. Paul Cooks taught me that. And he told us all to get boots on the ground and go and investigate these things. And that's exactly what I'm doing, guys. Boots on the ground investigating. And taking you on the journey with me. Hope you're all doing well. Big thank you to all my subscribers, my subs are going up, I'm really happy about that. I'm not doing it for that though guys, I'm doing it to help. To try and inspire you to go out. Learn your surroundings. Get used to your little areas. Oh man, I've got to climb all the way back up that. But hey oh, it'll keep me fit, it'll keep me healthy. And it's training me. Ready for whatever the future throws at us. So big shout out to all my subs, you're all awesome, I'm loving your videos too, 
your fishing videos, your history videos, you're awesome. Doing a great job, guys, loving it. So yeah, let's go see what else we can find, eh, guys? I'll go pick that heavy bag up now. Weighs a ton. Probably weighs a few pounds, that does, so I'm carrying that round with me as well. So yeah. Keeping them legs strong, eh, guys? I'm getting used to altitude bloody sickness. It's a bit rough. So we've had a bit of fungus, a bit of caving, and a bit of wild money. Cave money. So wild man slash caveman out. Gaz out. Take care of yourselves. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Like, share, and sub. And get out there and learn, guys. But don't do nothing silly. Don't hurt yourself. Don't go crazy. Let me do it for you. Oh, look. Another little mushroom. Awesome, guys. Wild man out. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one.